Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and happy, happy Friday and welcome if you're new here. It is weigh-in day Friday and I'm currently outside of my WW workshop. I was wondering if we would have enough light to film this morning and it looks like just barely is it light enough to get some good footage. So I wanted to let you guys know how my week went before I head into my workshop. So my week overall was excellent. So remember last week, I promised that I was going to go back to my walking and I did just that. However, I only walked three days instead of four. I have been even more insanely busy than I was last week. I have clients coming out of the woodwork, looking to buy or sell a home, and it's just really taking up a lot of my time. Today, I'm gone all day long. I have classes, clients, I have offers in the works, I have an inspection, I have a new client that wants me to send listings, I have a market analysis to do, it's crazy. So with the craziness of the last week, I still managed to do three out of four days. And at the end of this video, I will insert the clips of me walking in the morning. So I've been going between like 5.30 and 6.30 every morning and doing my little loop that I do around my home. So I'll insert that at the end. My food was pretty darn good. Uh, even yesterday, I went and met with someone in the evening and I brought my dinner and warmed it up at the microwave at the gas station. So I was able to stay on track. So overall, my food this week was really good. I don't have any complaints there. I was able to get in those three days of exercise. I am just wrapping up my favorite time of the month. Like literally, it's just wrapping up. So I'm hoping that doesn't affect when I step on the scale, but we shall see. So on that note, I'm gonna head into my workshop and I'll be back to share not only what we talked about, but also my weigh-in. Hey guys, I'm out of my workshop. It was a fantastic workshop as always. And what we discussed this week is something that I definitely need. As I mentioned, I am insanely busy in my real estate career, but I'm not complaining, not at all. But what we talked about was quick, easy, go-to meals. And you know, I am all about the recipes on my channel. I try to give you guys 30 minute meals, quick, easy weeknight meals. I'm in the process of filming my Trader Joe's five nights of dinner out of the frozen section. These meals are so fast. I mean, they're on the table in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, low point, delicious. So it was a perfect topic. So let's talk a little bit about what we can do to make sure that we are prepared, planned out, and we have fast, easy meals ready to go on those busy weekends or week nights. So the first suggestion is to identify some quick, easy go-to meals. So search online for fast, easy meals. You can look in the WW app. You can definitely check out my 30 minute meal series here on my YouTube channel that is literally from the counter to your table and you are eating in 30 minutes or less, generally less. So it is a great, great recipe series on my channel for those super busy times. So identify some recipe ideas, some things that you can prepare that are fast and easy. Secondly, have those quick, easy foods on hand. So for example, in your pantry, have things such as dried pasta, beans, canned tomatoes, spices, healthy oils, things that are the components of a quick, easy meal. Pasta takes less than 10 minutes to boil on the stove. You could throw together some protein and some beans and a little bit of canned tomatoes and you've got a dinner. So have those quick, easy, put together meal items on hand in your pantry. Number three, have some building blocks of these quick, easy meals in your refrigerator and your freezer. So some things that you may have in your refrigerator would be garlic, onions, fresh veggies, condiments. And in your freezer, you could have things like frozen vegetables, frozen peas, frozen corn, already pre-chopped up onions and peppers, fish, chicken, those building block proteins, staples of your quick, easy meals. You literally pull one of those out of your fridge or freezer, pull a couple things out of your pantry, throw it together, and you can have a meal ready to go in 10, 15 minutes. And the best part about it is if you're a smaller household like myself and my husband, we make a lot of food for dinner. So we always have leftovers. So you can weigh it out, package it up, throw it in a to-go container, take it to lunch. You can be like me and 
This girl over here warms her food up at the gas station all the time when I'm out seeing clients at night. They never blink an eye about it, you guys, and there is always a microwave in the gas station. So have it available, have it ready, have the foundation, the building blocks of those quick meals on hand in both your refrigerator and your freezer. The fourth suggestion is batch prep. You know I do a meal prep every single week. I make all of my breakfast, my lunches, and some sort of a snack or dessert item. It keeps me on track. It's already in my refrigerator. It's a quick, easy grab and go. Again, I can warm it up while I'm out on the road, but batch prep or meal prep. So you could, if you're not interested in meal prepping, if it's not something that you like to do, if you don't want to eat the same thing every day, you can do what's called a buffet prep. And that essentially is you're going to prepare your grains. So you're going to cook up all your pasta, your rice, maybe several grains, your quinoa, your orzo, whatever it is that you want. You're going to cook up, pre-cook up proteins, fish, chicken, red meat, hamburger, have that already pre-cooked, ready to go. You can even pre-cook or even pre-dice fruits and vegetables. And then when you're going to put together the meal, you pull from your buffet of already prepared things. And that's why it's called a buffet style meal prep. So you would pull some cut up vegetables, you would pull out your protein, and you would pull out your grain, and you would prepare your meal from that. Everything's pre-cooked, pre-chopped, ready to go. Definitely a time saver if you're not into either A, meal prepping, or B, eating the same thing every day for one or two or even all three meals throughout the day. So I'm okay with that. Meal prepping saves my life, but buffet meal prepping is an amazing way to help quick and easy meals and keep you on track. Number five, cook extra. Like I mentioned, it's just my husband and myself in our household. But when I make a recipe, generally it's anywhere from four to eight servings per recipe. So I just put that in my refrigerator as leftovers. Either myself or my husband will eat them. Generally, it's my husband. But somebody in my house will eat the leftovers. Nothing goes to waste in my house. It's very, very rare that we actually throw away food. So there is nothing wrong with preparing a larger amount of a meal to have it on on hand so that it's easy for you to grab and warm up throughout the week. And lastly, number six, try some time saving tools. Things like an air fryer, an instant pot, an immersion blender, even one of those little personal blenders that you can blend up a smoothie, screw the lid onto the cup and take it on the road with you. So time saving kitchen gadgets. I mean, even things such as nonstick pans where A, you're using less oil and B, it's quick and easy to cook up your food. Those things not only are convenient, but they are huge time savers. And most importantly, they're huge point savers. They're going to make your food more point friendly, prepare it faster, and have it ready for those quick and easy weeknight meals. So there are some suggestions for you on how to prepare quick, easy meals. In fact, the recipe on the back of the weekly is a vegetable dish. It looks really good. So I'll definitely be putting that in at the end, along with the footage of me taking my walks. So now let's talk about my way in. So for my way in, as I mentioned, I had a really busy week but I did walk three days. I'm super proud of myself. And it's funny about the walking. I always get up in the morning and I'm like, oh, I have so much to do. I don't have time to walk. But when I do walk, I feel so much better. I'm happy. It gives me that little bit of time to myself in the morning. It's peaceful out. It's pretty out. So I definitely am going to continue on with the walking. I am planning it again this next week, three to four days. I said four days, but that sometimes is a little rough for me. So I'm shooting for three to four days of walking this next week. So that was amazing. My food was pretty darn good. I did have, I think I had a couple of high point days only because of, you know, being a girl and having that little bit of extra appetite this last week. But overall, I feel like my food was well. My exercise was great. So when I stepped on the scale today, I lost 1.2 pounds. So I am thrilled. I am happy as a little clam with my 1.2 pounds. So I'm back to the losing mode, still playing a little bit of catch up from those little bits of gains that I've had, but I am back to losing and I am continuing the trend. So my goals for this next week are as follows. So today, Friday, is actually going to be my day that I use my weeklies because my husband and myself, after my insane busy day, are going to be going up to Schweitzer in Sandpoint, Idaho to what is called Fall Fest. And what it is, is it is a beer tasting festival where you can taste there's hundreds of beers to choose from. They have live music. They have great street food. So I'm going to take my weeklies and I'm going to head up there tonight with my husband. I've barely seen him since starting real estate. So it'll give us a chance to spend a little bit of time together. Um, 
And that's where I'm going to use my weeklies. My goal is to eat on track the rest of the day today and then just really have the beer and the dinner and maybe some dessert up on the mountain. So super excited about that. My goal is to track every day, no matter what. And my other goal is to get a blue dot every day. So stay within my range where I get a blue dot. And lastly, some exercise, three to four days, of hitting the pavement and walking in the morning before I start my insanely busy day. So that is my goals for this next week. But the most important goal is I want to step on the scale next week and have another loss. So who is with me this week? Who wants to track? Who wants to get blue dots? And who wants to pump up the activity and get in some movement this week? Comment down below. Let me know what your guys' goals are for this next week. I also want to hear how your week went. Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected when you weighed in? Did you not weigh in? What was the reason? I want to hear all about it down in the comments. So if you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend a huge warm welcome. I do a weigh-in every single week, traditionally on Fridays. That is the day that I attend my WW workshop. So make sure you hit that little subscribe button and that bell. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload. I have hundreds of videos on my channel. WW to the max, to the best. Everything you need to know about WW on my channel. Thumbs up this one. And again, comment down below. I want to hear how your guys' week went. And I just want to say again, thank you for all your love and support, your kind words, and for being literally the best part of my day. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.